Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Inferno Bar. What can I get you? Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I don't know what your usual drink is. If you're making such a request, then, well, you must be a regular here. Apologies, but I don't think we've met before. That's quite all right. Any entourage? No. You're here alone? That's strange. A handsome man such as yourself can pick up any lady on the floor. And yet here you are. Party for one, sitting at my bar. Trust me, those ladies go feral at times. I'd be careful. <laughs> I'm sure you can handle yourself. How is it that I never met you before? Let alone seen you around the club. I definitely remember a face like yours. Hm. Must be fate, perhaps. If I ever believe in that crap. Now, about that drink. How about you tell me the name of the drink and I'll see what I can do. Oh, interesting. Don't know the name or the ingredients, but just like the flavour. I'm assuming you didn't think much of it when ordering it. That's unfortunate. Perhaps do you remember any distinctive flavours? Maybe your usual bartender called it something, so it was easy to remember. The Sammy Special, eh? Well. <laughs> that is, again, very unfortunate. Sam was let go a few weeks ago. Due to some complaints, Inferno has now left to different hosts every night. Therefore, your usual bartender a week is no longer available. You know, we're all been put on a rotation belt ever since Sammy's incident. But that's all right. I'm here now and I'm here to serve you. So, how about you tell me a little bit more about yourself and I'll make the perfect drink for you. One that I believe suits your personality and your taste buds. Challenge accepted. Wonderful. Now, you don't look like a beer kind of guy. Brandy, whiskey, beer. It's too common and bland in your eyes. Semi special wasn't anything either. To be honest with you. <laughs> Come to think of it. Since you did mention a zesty flavour, it could have been a Moscow Mule. Well, the secrets lie with Samuel. Bitter he's not here anymore. Hmm. Alright. How about we just save our time? And I make you a famous drink instead. The reason behind Inverno's name. I'm sure you might know it well, if you're a connoisseur of this type of beverage. The Devil's Inferno. A warm explosion that starts from the very first sip. Dark rum mixed with freshly made cranberry juice, garnished with chili and Bacardi 151. And before you ask, yes, Bacardi 151 is a discontinued brand. However, here at Inferno, we're well stocked. Perhaps you could be interested in something lighter, like a vodka soda. Vodka sparkling water with a pinch of lime. It's a light drink, so even if you don't have a high tolerance, you won't feel that tipsy. I can guarantee that a lightweight could drink five of these and be a right. Hello there, handsome. Oh dear. Ema, 
We have another dropper. Quite unfortunate. <laughs> Take her to room four. Make sure she's comfortable. Take off her jewellery and make sure her hair is tied. Heels off. Bag and belongings in the safety basket. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, she's quite alright. She's in good hands. Well, you see, the club is quite different than the others around here. It's the reason for its popularity in the city. Due to the endless incidents of ugly crimes committed when people get drunk, we've turned part of the nightclub into a hotel. A private one for that matter. Room specifically made for those who can't make it home sober. If they drive here, our supervisor, Mr. Yusei, will see it that their cars move safely into the private parking lot. So if you've drunk yourself silly, please don't be afraid to ask for a private room. Emphasis on the private. We'd gladly give you one free of charge. We give you enough time to recollect yourself in the morning and make sure you're given breakfast before leaving. It's a hidden policy here at Inferno. Not many people know about it since they're always wondering what's going on when our room services come in and check in on them. It's quite hilarious. Why well, yes, our rooms are all free of charge. It's more of a... Um, What's the word? One night stay. That includes breakfast in the morning. At Inferno, we want people to return home safely. You know, instead of doing anything reckless while drunk or even worse, being taken advantage of in their vulnerable state. But enough chit chat. How about a drink, sir? A memento mori. Well, I haven't heard about that drink in a while. Where have you heard of such a thing? The black velvet? Interesting. I thought that the black velvet was just a mythical bar in limbo. You, sir have a crazy imagination. However, you're in luck. I know exactly how to make a memento mori. Remember that you must die. Quite the translation, don't you think? But of course, one memento mori coming right up. Here you are, sir. Enjoy. Let me know if you need anything. Of course. Of course. Another, Another memento, memento coming up. Here you, Here you go. go. Another, Another memento, memento more. Certainly. Certainly. Two, Two memento more is coming right, right up. up. Here you Here are, sir. Enjoy. enjoy. Yes, how can I help? Another memento? I think you've drunk enough for the night, sir. Is everything alright? I don't mean to pry in personal matters, but... You've had 23 mementos. You're smashed. Uh, yes, I... I am aware that it was Valentine's Day a few days ago. Does this have any relation to that? Oh, I see. So your date stood you up for another guy? Oh 
Oh dear. So, let me get this straight, right? Your date stood you up for another guy, wanted to reschedule, but then was already at the same restaurant that you reserved with someone else. Well, what a bitch. <laughs> Reminds me of someone I know. How about we get you escorted home? Javier? Hmm? What's the matter? Oh, all, all right. I understand. Um, never mind, Javier. Sorry to bother you. You can go back to work. <sighs> it's unfortunate your roommates are such assholes to you. I wouldn't want to be in that kind of atmosphere after being stood up either. I don't blame you for not wanting to go back. Here. Go check yourself in for the night. You can leave the keycard here when you're ready to leave in the morning. Oh, trust me. You look like you need a break. And you're smashed. <laughs> Let's get you off to a room before you do something utterly stupid and you'll regret it tomorrow morning. You're already hurting and your roommates are not going to make it any easier for you. Stay the night. Tell them you're not going to return home for the evening. Or not. Switch off your phone and rest. If you need anything, you can ask for me personally. I'll be your personal caretaker for the remainder of the evening. In fact, tonight's tab will be on me. Please, I insist. It's not really going to affect me in the long run anyway. Inferno is the most popular club in the country. I don't have to worry about my paycheck. My boss? Oh, she'll understand. She actually encourages this sort of thing. She wouldn't get mad, trust me. I know her very well. And I mean, she does own the entire building, so... <laughs> I'm sure a customer's tab wouldn't really make a dent in anything. <laughs> oh my god, you are too funny. <laughs> Jasmine is a very kind-hearted someone. She really hates it when people take advantage of others, especially when they're in a vulnerable state. So please, go ahead. Enjoy yourself. If you feel like you've had enough and want to retire early, you can do so. But in case you want to let loose and have fun with the ladies that are eagerly waiting for you, the second you get too drunk to stand... I'll send Javier to take you to your room. There are allocated bathrooms in each suite, so you can be comfortable and be ready to leave in the morning, nice and fresh. We make sure all our patrons are taken care of, appropriately and respectfully. All belongings of the patron that are valuable are put into a personalized box, so when they hand in their keycard in the morning, they can retrieve their belongings. There have been incidents of attempted robbery under false identification, so we've made it a priority to make sure all of our customers are safe in their rooms. Each room comes with a smart lock function, but only staff has those kind of keycards. The locks on the doors lock on both sides, but can only ever be opened from inside, so that way, in case someone gets a hold of their keycard, they won't be able to get in unless the other person inside unlocks the door. We value our patron safety and value their time here. And so, just to show our appreciation for spending their time here, we even do a small check-up call to make sure they've reached home safely if they came with a car. Otherwise, we send out a driver to escort them home. Of course, this was all Jasmine's idea. 
She's had many unfortunate incidents in life in regards to nightclubs with her dear ones. So she just, well, tries to look out for others, make sure that that pain doesn't affect them and their families in case something had to happen, you know? <laughs> oh dear. I see you're getting a little red around the eyes. I'm guessing the tiredness is kicking in. Retire early, sweetheart. You could use the rest. Javier? Please escort the gentleman to his room. Here's the key card and the box. You have a wonderful rest, and we hope you enjoy your evening at Inferno. We'll see you in the morning. Hmm? Oh, my name? Ah, yes. I realized I've been talking all this time without even giving you a name. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. My name is Jasmine. You have a wonderful night.